these squashes were sitting on our counter for just about a year now. They came out of the garden pretty much last. So when we went back to clean up the garden at the end of the, of the gardening season, these were what was left. They're kind of lumpy. I sat them out with a, a zucchini that was on our counter. <laughs> we tried to eat it and it tasted like old couch, I was told. So I'm assuming these guys aren't as good and I have no idea what's in the inside of them. So we're just gonna check it out before they go into the compost bin here to make us some nice, beautiful soil to make us better squashes for next time. Let's see. I'm just gonna use this rock as my cutting board. Let's start with the little one. That still looks pretty good. It smells like pumpkin. It smells kind of moldy. You can definitely see it's definitely dried out a little bit. I could probably save some of these seeds actually. Are there any seeds? Oh, no, never mind. The seeds are the first to go, I guess. It was pretty underdeveloped though, so there may not have been many seeds in it. In the compost pile, that goes. Let's do the medium one. They're still pretty hardy for being a year old. That's pretty good. Yep, again, smells like a pumpkin. So it doesn't smell like that nice, fresh, crisp squash smell. You can see on the outside, it's a little bit mushier, so it's definitely decomposing. And what about this one? And the big one. Impressive how thick a skin on a squash gets if you leave it on the vine into the fall. It almost changes it from a soft skin to a harder skin, which is kind of neat. And again, no seeds in there or not any that were actually developed. And that ring of just mush. These guys were gone anyway. Well, not gone. If I had pigs or chickens or something like that, they would love these. But they're going to the ground and the worms instead. <laughs> 